Hello folks, this is our 2x4x2 two by by two stock tank that we've been using for the baby chicks. Uh, we, we used this lid last year, uh, it just rest on top after we had a little bit of trouble with predators. So we made this lid, it just sits on top made out of 2x6, a, a little bit of plywood that we got from uh, some sort of uh, pallet that came in. Uh, so we're going to upgrade this lid, we're going to try to make it a little bit nicer for us uh, long term. So we can open the lid, check on the chicks, give them water, give them food. Uh, without having to remove the whole thing. It's uh, it's not super heavy, but it's definitely a little bit heavier than one person would love to lift. Uh, so we're going to take this uh, off. We're going to get it upgraded with some handles and some hinges, and we'll show you how we're going to do that. Okay, folks, the first thing we got to do before we can do much with the, the actual mechanism of the hinges is we got to get some handles on here. Um, this is what we're going to use as the top. Uh, so we got 2x6, two 2x6 six, two six front and back, uh, plywood, um, underneath we just screwed it in um, with random screws that we had uh, had to use some extra washers in places just to make it fit right without the screw coming through uh, just having to be some extra pieces uh, washers and screws that we had uh, probably could be done better but we uh, put this together just as um, a quick solution to keep predators out of that stock tank so the first thing we're going to do is put these handles on these are uh, these are seven and three quarter inch and they are zinc. So I'm just eyeballing these on center, five inches in from the edge. Uh, no particular reason, just a pretty good spot. All right, folks, here's what we got. Um, I used upcycled, recycled wood that we, I just had leftover pieces from a separate project. I don't remember what it was, but a couple pieces left over. Probably would have been better to use one long piece, but I had these two exact pieces sitting around and they worked. So I used pan heads on the inside to go from the bracket into the, the lid. So those are one and a quarter pan heads, Phillips. And on the back side here, I use these hex head one and a half inch um, 
so it just didn't go too far. It didn't go too far into the wood. And then uh, to go into the tank, through the wood into the tank, um, I used just some um, two and three quarter lag bolts. They could have been a little bit shorter. Uh, I'll show you in just a second how they stick out just a little bit, but uh, that's what I had at hand. So uh, nut washer and the uh, two and three quarter bolt. Uh, I did use the Bosch cobalt bits again. Uh, still highly recommend those to uh, go through the wood and the, the tank itself. So that, that was super easy. Uh, did not have to go through any, I just used one bit, uh, which was the, the 3 8 bit. So I didn't have to go through several bits and keep going up in size to get through. It was pretty easy th through this thin sheet metal. Um, so that's it. Um, let's turn it around and see what it looks like. So this is very solid. Um, and I don't know what kind of lids are out there, um, but we made this without the hinges, without even handles, just to keep out predators. Uh, this seems much nicer now. Of course, you know, handles and hinged. If I were to guess, I would say there's about probably 15 pounds here for a predator to try to open uh, at the front, the weight at the front. Um, so I, I think that's going to be plenty to keep out most critters. And uh, we could even lock this down if we added some brackets or some carabiners or something. And I'll show you the inside here. So you can you do see the how the bolts at the back stick out. They're they're sticking out a little bit, which you know either you could take them off or just use shorter bolts. That's what I had. Uh, or just watch out, be careful in the back, don't touch that. Uh, but they are just bolts; they're not screws with points. Uh, so not too bad. Um, the only hard part about this build was um, just one knowing what you want to build because um, this is uh, kind of from scratch. Um, and putting it together and finding the right parts, having the right parts, so uh, that's why I'm telling you what sizes uh, if you want to do something very similar to this. Uh, the other hard part about this build was uh, the way that it's done here with the nuts and the bolt from the other side, so definitely uh, probably going to need two people for that. Okay folks, that's it for this build. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you try it. If you like this video, click the like button, give us a subscribe, Definitely leave some comments and let me know if uh, this helps you at all. All the measurements are in the video. Definitely not a hard build uh, and it's definitely going to keep some baby chicks safe. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on the homestead y'all.